Civil Engineering Academy. Hello there, engineers. Welcome to Civil Engineering Academy. We're looking at a problem from ethics and professional practices, more specifically uh, contract law. And we're given a scenario here <clears throat> that we are to analyze and decide uh, what type of defense was used in this situation. Um, so let's read the let's read the scenario. Over 20 years ago, Martin designed a precast concrete culvert for a rural road. His work was accepted and paid for by the city that contracted with him to perform the work. Two weeks ago, the culvert collapsed as an overloaded freight truck passed over the culvert. Although there was not any injuries due to the incident, the freight was lost and the truck and the roadway were damaged. The city tried unsuccessfully to collect on Martin's bond. The judge denied the claim because the work had been done too long ago. This defense is known as privity of contract, duplicity of liability, statute of limitations, caveat emptor. Um, so let's examine these, uh, these legal concepts in light of what we just read. Um, I think the key to understanding this one is realizing the, that the key piece of information that we have here is the length of time between the actual design and the incident. It was over 20 years ago that this, this incident happened with the freight, the freight truck. Um, many other damaging incidents could have occurred to the culvert over the 20 years that it was in service. But let's look at each one of these legal terms here, define them, and we'll try to decide uh, what actual defense was used in this scenario. So privity of contract is the concept that uh, only those parties named in a contract should be able to sue or enforce their rights or claim to damage. Um, given the scenario here, that that's not the defense that was used. Um, duplicity of liability. Uh, this one infers two separate offenses occurred here. Um, I only read one offense, so I don't think that applies. Um, let's skip down here to D. Caveat M tour. This is the idea that the buyer of a service is solely responsible for checking the quality and suitability of the service purchased. That, uh, again, doesn't seem like the defense that was used here. Looking at statute of limitations, this is the concept that defects appearing after a certain amount of time are not actionable. This one seems like the defense that was actually used in this scenario. So our answer is C. Hopefully that helps you with uh, your contract law concepts, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks.